Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we have no new cars this week. And now, like they said last week, if you hit the brakes, you can see that some cars now have brake lines behind them. Which, honestly, it looks really weird, and maybe this should just be a thing for nighttime, or maybe just for Japan, since it's like an enclosed city area compared to this map, which is pretty open. And this just doesn't seem realistic at all. Another change we have, if we head through a speed trap over here, you can see that they updated it, and now the speed traps have stars, so the faster you go, the more stars you'll get, and you can see how close you are to the next stars or whatever. And with these new speed traps, if you head into the map in new servers, you'll see these indicators on the map showing where the jump traps are. And you'll need to complete 8 traps to finish this one quest, and I'm pretty sure in new servers they made it to where you need 4 stars on all jump traps. So you, it'll be easier if you go into new servers instead of these older ones. And here's an example of one, you'll want to go up to the top of the pharmacy over here, which if you go over to Drive World Customs, I'll show you where to go from here. And right up here, this is what one of them will look like. And if you go kind of slow, you won't complete this, so you're going to have to get some speed, which this one's actually pretty good for speed. I don't know how the other ones are going to be. The best car I've found for the stunt jumps is to use the Rotary Evo, which this is an event car. So if you didn't get this, this is probably going to be pretty difficult for you. And this is a tuning I use for it, so you can try this, but this probably isn't that good as I just quickly threw it together. As you can see there, I got 700 feet, which is 5 stars. Here is the second jump over here. What you'll want to do is go right over this jump here. And then you could back up and then go as fast as possible. And then just hope that you make it 500 feet. That time I didn't, but I've made it before. And I got 5 stars here. And I tried some other cars and they all don't really seem to work on these jumps. So you're going to have to find a new server to complete this because 5 stars is almost impossible. The next one you'll find is on the drag strip and this one should be pretty easy. There we go, we completed that one. I'm not exactly sure how far you'll have to go on this one. Let me quickly check. You'll have to go around 1,600 feet to complete this jump. The fourth one is right over here. You'll want to go down this road and it's going to be right at the end of this tunnel right here. And there we go, I guess I completed it, I don't know, because the speed trap went over it. Let me see how far you have to go on this one. On this one, you'll have to go 1,300 feet. The fifth one you can find right over here, right on top of this little hill right here. And it's right next to Gatling Run. And there we go, I completed that one first try as well. Let me check how long this one is. The next one you can find is all the way out in the desert over here. There we go, and let's see how far you have to jump this one. This one's around 1,000 feet. The second to last one, you'll want to head over to this area right here, South Forest. And you want to follow this trail right here. And for this one, you want to somehow travel 400 feet, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Oh, there we... What? Well, there you go. I completed it. I don't know how that really worked, but... There you go. And you'll need 800 to complete this like I said before. And the last one you can see is right up here in Mountain Town. And this one you'll need 700 feet, so let me go do that. So I've been trying to do this jump and it doesn't really seem possible with any car. The easiest way I've found to do this though is to grab a small car like the PAL and teleport really far away like North Forest. And then you'll want to TP to a friend. So make sure you have a friend on the jump. And then you want to TP and 
do the flip car button and then you do this a few times and one of the times you'll get a success and then you'll complete this quest. Here, I'll do it again and see if I can complete it this time. And there we go, that time it worked and I got five stars and I completed that jump. So if you don't have the 787B or the Rotary Extreme, you can go into the shop and search up PAL. And this car is in the shop, so you can buy this for only 50000 and I don't think you have to upgrade it at all. And you'll be able to complete all of them if you have a, one friend with you, which you could probably find someone in one of the games and do this with them. And with that, I have completed this challenge, and if you just wait a few days, you'll probably get the 4 stars instead, and that's going to be way easier than the 5 stars. And now I'll show you the 5 parts in the USA map. For the first part, head over to this food delivery spot right over here. And right on this path, you'll find the first part. For the second part, head over to this race right here, the drag strip. And right behind the hangar, you'll see the second part. For the third part, you can go exactly from this last part we had right over here. And you want to drive down over here. For the fourth part, head over to this race right here, Redwood Pass. And right up here, you'll see the second to last part. And for this last one, you want to head over to this race right here, Waterfall Rush. And right on this loop-de-loop, -loop, you'll see the last part. And now with that, let's complete these two shadow races. And with that, this week they actually made it to where there's one extra quest to complete this car. So if you don't want to do these jumps, you don't have to do it. But let's complete these so we can check out the Cutter Extreme. I have finally completed seven of the quests. This was awful. This was so painful to have to do all this. And luckily, I don't have to do the drift score. But I think the drift score is probably faster than the speed traps. But I could just not do drift score because it's it's really boring to do that. And we can finally check out this cutter extreme. And here it is. I'm not exactly sure which car this is without the extreme version maybe this hasn't come to the game yet but i feel like it looks like another car in the game already and here are the customizations on it oh this is all so bugged
Yeah, this car isn't that great. It seems really rushed. And here's the car. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. And the last thing I want to talk about is if you have your suspension like this now. They actually patched it to where the top speed doesn't get higher whenever you squat it. But someone else said that the acceleration is still a lot faster. So I'm not exactly sure if this is right and I don't feel like testing it. So if you're using this for top speed, it probably isn't going to be doing that. And with that being said, I think that's going to end this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.